Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't even really know where I'm going with this video today. <sighs> my life has been crazy the last few days, to say the least. So, <sighs> I don't know you guys. I just have a lot of stuff going on at home. Like, I have issues with my sink and my sink is like either clogging or something and then it's backing up into my dishwasher so then my dishwasher is filling with water and then, you know... Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't run from the dishwasher all over the floor. So my whole kitchen is like flooded. So that's always fun. <laughs> and it's doing something to the floor. So I'm going to have to get that fixed. Um, my bathroom sink upstairs constantly runs. Um, that has to be fixed. There's issues with like my tub and stuff. Um, and then the other night... I'm just like getting right into it, you guys. Hi, I hope you guys are good. I'm just going. <laughs> so I have all of that stuff going on. And then the other night, so I had gone to the bathroom, right? I was playing my guitar. I've been playing my guitar and I had to go to the bathroom. So I used the bathroom and I didn't hear anything when I went to the bathroom, right? And then I go back into my bedroom and play my guitar a little bit. And it's like five, 10 minutes later, right? And I call Steven because he's downstairs and I'm like, oh, when you come upstairs, could you bring me um, a water bottle? And, you know, I call him and he's just like, oh, do you have anything running up there? Like water running? And I was like, no. But sometimes like when you flush the toilet, it will keep running and you have to like jangle the little, the little whatever the heck it is in there, the chain in there. <laughs> so I was like, well, no, but I use the bathroom. So let me just double check the and make sure that the toilet's not running. So I went in there and I could hear, it was faint. Um, I could hear something like running. It sounded like water was running, but it definitely wasn't coming from the toilet or anything. And I was like, and then I was trying to listen to the sink because the sink has been constantly running for a while. Um, that still has to get fixed as well. So I was like, it doesn't sound like it's coming from the sink. It was very faint. I checked to make sure that it wasn't like leaking under the sink or anything. No. So we come downstairs, we're like looking around, we're checking in here, seeing if anything like in the kitchen is like leaking or running anywhere, nothing. You know, I can't find anything. I checked the downstairs bathroom, whatever. And then I went over to like this wall, like the side of the house, cause it sounds really loud there, but it sounds like water running. And I'm like, that's so weird. And I checked every room in the house, like even the spare rooms that like, how are they gonna get water? I still check them just in case nothing so I was like I don't know so Steven goes downstairs to the basement and then he comes running back upstairs like he's running around and I'm like what like what's wrong da -da 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 -da. and he's not like saying much and I'm like so I'm getting like flustered and like nervous and anxious and stuff and apparently like he's like you know there's water there's lots of water down there blah 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 so you know, I go down there. It's late at night at this point. You know, it's pretty late. So I go down there and the ba the the basement is like, there's water. <laughs> so I'm like panicking. I don't really know what to do. Like, I don't know a lot about that stuff. He doesn't really know a lot about that stuff. So we had to call his dad. We felt so bad, but we called his dad. His dad and his brother showed up and they like looked at stuff and they turned something off and it stopped running up here. Like you couldn't hear it running anymore. Um, and they checked and blah, 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 long story short. Well, it's been a long story long, <laughs> but they, something, one of the pipes apparently like cracked. So it was just like in water basically. So yeah, so that was a lot of fun. So I was up until pretty late dealing with that. So it's just been like one thing after another. And I'm trying not to be like, what was me, pity me, blah, blah, blah. Why do these things happen to me? I'm trying to not be that way. I'm trying to be positive, optimistic. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like wearing on me. <laughs> Everything is going wrong all at one time. But that's the way it goes. So yeah, so I'm trying to deal with that. But I've been doing like okay about it, kind of. Um, I'm definitely not like stewing on it as much but I have been kind of like stress eating so I haven't been eating a lot of like home cooked meals and the home cooked meals I am eating are like not great for you and I'm eating in way too high of a quantity 
So definitely got to work on that. Um, but I've been journaling every single day and I've been staying like trying to stay like as positive as I can um, because there's nothing I can do to change the situation like it happened. So all I can do is try to fix it, you know, rectify the situation as much as I can. And then it is out of my hands, you know? So I'm trying to not stew on it because it happened and it is what it is. But anyways, so that's kind of what's been going on the past few days, you guys, why I haven't seen you. Just feels like everything is happening <laughs> at one time. Um, but I have something exciting, blah, blah, blah. I got through my story. I have something exciting for you guys. Me and Steven went grocery shopping and we saw this in the store and this is the worst. So I usually do grocery pickup because every time I go into the store, I spend way more money than I need to spend. If I do my grocery pickup, I just pick out what I need and you know, they do it for you and they bring it out to your car and everything's fine and dandy. But sometimes I have to go in because I like to pick out my own chicken. I'm just like weird about it. And I just want to like see the chicken and be able to pick out my own chicken breast. So when we need chicken, we'll go inside. But those are always bad, <laughs> bad times because I spent way too much money. So blah, blah, blah. They have this section with like new stuff. I don't know. I've never seen any of it. But they had this. Dunkaroo pancake mix. Are you kidding? I'm a little excited. I literally love Dunkaroos. Love, love, love them. They're delicious. And it's probably just going to taste like birthday cake. But I'm not even mad. Like I am so, so, so excited for this, you guys. Let me show you up close. Yeah, Dunkaroo complete pancake mix. So it's got, what does it come with? So you got the pancake mix, rainbow sprinkles, and frosting. And yeah, so it's probably going to be just like birthday cake. I am totally fine with that. I like that. I'm really excited for this, you guys. They have this other one. So they even have it on the side. It's Cinnamon Toast Crunch. So Cinnamon Toast Crunch used to be my favorite cereal. But it's gotten like, the last time I had it, it was like too sweet. So my favorite now is Fruity Pebbles. As if that's not sweet, but whatever. Um, but yeah, so I've been like, Fruity Pebbles has been my favorite for years, but before that, when I was a kid, it was always Cinnamon Toast Crunch, so I was kind of torn. They had a bunch of different stuff, so they had that one, they had the Dunkaroos, they had this Fruity Pebbles maple syrup, like, like Fruity Pebble flavored, you guys. I was like, I can't do it though, and I was like, if I put, if I bring the syrup in, it's gonna be there forever, and then I'm always gonna find an excuse to use it, so I decided against that. This, I mean... This is a good amount of mix, but I don't have pancakes a lot. I'm not making, uh, or yeah, I'm not making pancakes. So I'm going to make waffles. I've told you guys 9 million and one times that I don't really like the texture of pancakes, but I like waffles because it's a little crispier. So I'm just going to put it in my waffle thing instead of my pancake thing. Um, but either way, I don't really have like pancakes or waffles a lot. So I figured I'd be better off getting something like this just because it's going to be used pretty sparsely. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to make this. I'll probably show you guys how it comes out because I'm really, really excited. It's just like feeding my inner child, you know? <laughs> so I'm going to make this. Figured I would just like recap how my life has been going. <sighs> you guys let me know how you guys have been doing. This week has just been like a week, you know? I'm tired, exhausted. Everything is just like, you know, blah, blah, blah. Same old story. Told you everything. That is my life right now. <laughs> I'm just making the best out of what I have, trying to not get too upset or emotional over things that I don't really have that much control in, so everything is fine, life is still good, I gotta get back on track with my, um, my eating, I definitely need to see somebody for, like, my food, um, yeah, I, you know, I'm definitely trying, I'm trying to tackle it on my own, but... And I'm not saying that I feel like defeated, but I definitely feel like I need more help than I'm able to give myself, you know? I just need more resources and tools. So I'm definitely probably going to reach out to like somebody, therapist, psychologist, something <laughs> um, to try to deal with my food issues further, just because that is my initial response to literally everything, whether I'm happy, sad, mad, angry stressed out I turned straight to food so definitely gonna work on that that is something that I want to work on but yeah everything else has been going like pretty okay um like I said I've been I've been sticking with my journaling I've been 
playing my music. I've been my I've been doing my reading and everything, so it's been good. Like life is still good, regardless of how stressful everything seems to be going right now. Um, and I feel like that's accomplishment for me, just because normally I would let it completely derail me, and I'm not going to do that. And I put myself in like a terrible, miserable mood, and I would just be grouchy and crabby forever. <laughs> so I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to spiral. I'm just going to handle it and let it be. So anyways, oh my gosh, I keep going on. I'm going to make these and I will see you guys in a minute. By the way, you guys, I wanted to show you my little stand. So it holds my cookbooks beautifully. That was the last recipe we made. We made the carbonara. This is the uh, Joshua Wiseman cookbook. I already made a few from my other um, Magnolia table ones, but yeah, it holds it really well. These are really sturdy, the little handles. Um, and I think it's perfect and I love it. And I just wanted to show you guys. Okay guys, so here's our breakfast. I put way too much of that um, syrup, whatever the heck it's called, frosting on, way too much. So, excuse that. I'm excited to try it. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's good. I like it. It's like, I like that you can kind of taste the flavor with the little like sprinkles in there not the flavor because I'm sure they probably don't taste like much but you can see the little sprinkles in there and like the sweetness of the frosting it's really really good you guys <laughs> not the greatest for me for sure I know I just got done saying that like I need to be better about that but I saw this, I had to try it. Dunkaroos are like near and dear to my heart and I thought it'd be really fun to share it with you guys. Um, but yeah, it's really good. Like I said, definitely could have used less sprinkles or um, frosting. I don't know what I'm talking about, you guys. <laughs> sprinkles, frosting, syrup, who knows, whatever. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. It definitely tastes like it. That frosting is just like the classic frosting, you know? <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, it's pretty good. Reminds me of Dunkaroos. Mm. This is turkey bacon. And when you crisp it up, because I, I cook it for a while. I like my bacon like extra, extra crispy. And when you cook turkey bacon like that, it comes out delicious. Um, I made myself a iced matcha latte. I told you guys how I go through phases of like matcha and then tea. <laughs> I've really been like loving matchas. I've made those, quite a few of them. the past few days and they are delicious that actually might be the best one I've ever made so progress you guys <laughs> so yeah so I'm gonna finish my breakfast I don't know if I'm gonna see you guys for the rest of the day or not I don't really know what I'm up to today so I just wanted to come out on here and say hello I still have Christmas decorations you can see that you can see some of our stuff over here my life my house is very very hectic have to get my things together so I don't know if you'll see me because I'll probably be trying to get my life together <laughs> but I thought this would be super fun to share with you guys I know I've kind of been lacking with uploads and stuff I just I've been like not overwhelmed but I've been occupied just focusing on things that I need to do for me personally you know 
and then by by the time you know it the day is like over you know and I'm like oh wow like I didn't get to film today and then that happens every single day so <laughs> I need to make it a priority to make time to film you know if it's important to me I gotta make time for it so definitely I'm gonna be better about that but yeah I would say that this is successful I um uh, I enjoy these I like the um the sweetness of the frosting you know what kind of frosting it is too it's the same frosting you know the classic frosting that they use for literally everything but it's good I'm still kind of thinking about that fruity pebble syrup that I told you guys about but I do not need it I need to repeat that I do not need it <laughs> mm. But yeah, you guys, that's going to be it for this video. Um, if you did enjoy this video, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below for me. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.